22% of the total populations of Bangladesh are adolescents and out of that 42% are girls who stands for approximately 12 million. Rate of education among girls is 33% but it is 50% among boys. About 63% girls get married before the age of 18. About 31% married girls become pregnant within one year of marriage. In sharp contrast to the social environment of Bangladesh, about 40% of urban and 20% of rural adolescents develop physical relationship before marriage or before the age of 19. The subject of reproductive health is included in the syllabus of Bangladesh National Curriculum Board in class 10, but a big portion of students get dropped out from schools before reaching class 10. Keeping these issues in mind, the Adolescent Development Program of BRAC started working for improving the standard life of adolescents, especially for girls. Adolescent Development Program is one of the main component of BRAC Education Program. At present, in 59 districts, including three hill regions and urban areas, this program is being implemented. This program started in 1993. Initially, the objective of the clubs were to help retention of the girls' literacy and numeracy and to secure a safe place where adolescent girls could play, have chit-chat and spend leisure time. Over the time, innovative areas have been added to the program. Though the adolescent girls were the target group of this program, the adolescent boys were included later to create a supporting environment for the girls. The program which started in 1993 with only 10 adolescent clubs has been renamed as Adolescent Development Program or ADP. At present, there are 9,000 adolescent clubs under the program which have more than 260,000 adolescent girls as members. The objectives of this program are to empower adolescent girls socially and financially, to curb the trend of early marriage and dowry, to create awareness about reproductive health and HIV AIDS, to develop their leadership potential, to eliminate gender inequity, to ensure increased participation of adolescent boys and others of society for implementation of the rights of adolescent girls and to increase participation of adolescent girls in all activities. With the aim to achieving these objectives, ADP has been working through four components which are Adolescent Clubs, APUN, Life Skill Based Education, Livelihood Training and Community Participation. Adolescent clubs are the main component of the ADP. The clubs usually have 25 to 40 adolescent girls as members. Any girl within 11 to 19 age group can be a member of this club. Adolescent housewives can also join the clubs. These clubs remain open twice a week for two hours. The activities of these clubs include books to borrow, magazines, newspapers, indoor and outdoor sports, cultural competition, etc. One adolescent girl is selected among the girls who is responsible for day-to-day -day management of the clubs. These girls are known as adolescent leaders. The adolescent leaders receive training on club management at the training centers of BRAC. Additionally, a one-day refreshers course is held in every two months to reinforce the training and to share experiences and learnings with others. Second component of ADP 
is APUN, Life Skill Based Education. The course is designed to provide life skills and raise awareness on issues such as child rights, gender, reproductive health, eve teasing, early marriage, dowry, smoking, drug addiction, child trafficking, STI, HIV AIDS, family planning, etc. A trained adolescent girl or boy facilitates the APON course. The leaders receive a six-day training to facilitate the APON course. Moreover, they receive refreshers once while the course is ongoing at the field level. The materials used in APON course include seven booklets on health and social issues, cards, posters, etc. and a guide for the adolescent leader. Now, we will hear from two adolescent girls who received APUN course. I am Asma Akhtar. I am Brekir School Shishkari Jakhan Mathemi School Bhurti Hoi Takhani Kishri Kendri Shathe Jodi To. So, I am ADB program thekhe anik kisi shikhte parsi jaya amar jivonir jeno khubi dorkar chilo. I am shikhte parsi boy shundi kal shampur ke balo viva hapun jyotur. Ishob kaji amar baba maa maa ke anik mullayan kare abong shahajo shahajo gita kare. Amar baba ho chen ek jon khudri bhaiwa shai. Toh nara judi amar ke shahajo shahajo gita na kore to tahol amar anik aagi bhiye hoi jay to. Borto man lekha bara chadi jachi. আমার ভবিষ্যৎ ইচ্ছা আমি লেখাপড়া শেষ করে একজন ভালো শিক্ষিকা হব আমার নাম মোহাম্মদ নাজমুন নানুরানি তে একদিন আমি বাসায় যাচ্ছি জানার পর আমার দাদি স্কুল থেকে ফিরানোর পর আমার দাদি কত তোমার বিয়ে ঠিক পর আমি কলম নাম অল্প বেশি বিয়ে করব না পর কোন না এখন আমরা বিয়ে ঠিক করে ফেলেছি তোমার বিয়ে করতেই হবে ওই ক্লাবে আপন ক্লাস করতাম ওগুলো আমি জানতাম যে 18 বছর আগে বিয়ে হলে কি হয় ব্রাকের যে আমি আপার কাছে যাই বলছি পরে আফা যায় আমার বাবা রে মারে বুঝাইছে কো ক্লাব নের মে অল্প বসে বিয়ে দেন না কথা বলার পর পর আমার বাবা মা ভুল বুঝছে যা এখন আমি বিয়ে দেব না অল্প বসে মে বিয়ে দিলে ক্ষতি হবে ইনিশিয়ালি দ্য কোর্স ওয়াজ প্রোভাইডেড টু দ্য অ্যাডোলেসেন্ট গার্লস অনলি বাট লেটার আফটার রিসিভিং ফিডব্যাকস ফ্রম দ্য গার্লস অ্যাডোলেসেন্ট বয়স ওয়ার অলসো ইনক্লুডেড ইন দ্য আপন কোর্স এট প্রেজেন্ট আপন কোর্স ইজ গিভেন টু মেম্বারস অফ অ্যাডোলেসেন্ট ক্লাবস working adolescent girls adolescent girls and boys of secondary schools and out of school boys ami rani ami out of school boys er ekjon peer educator apon course kore ami onek kichu shikhechi dhumpan er khotikarok dik ebong boyshondhi kal somporke onek kichu jenechi ebong ami amar bondhuderke janate chesta korchi Livelihood training is the third component of ADP. In a study conducted among the members of adolescent clubs, it was found that 78% of the members are continuing education and the rest of the 22% had stopped schooling. A major portion of them are considered as a burden for the family and their parents want to get rid of this burden through marriages. Therefore, ADP has taken initiative to provide livelihood training to make adolescent girls self-reliant. The trainings include poultry, dairy, computer, photography, beauty care, tailoring, driving, etc. After completion of the training, girls could take credit from BRAC microcredit program. The livelihood training changed the lives of many adolescents. Let's listen from two of the girls who received livelihood training. Our name is Masamat Moshmi Khatun. I am from Bhattu Bara Kishori Club. I am a club member. I am from Dhaka. I am a photographer. I am a photographer. I am a photographer. I am a photographer. কিস্তি শোধ করে শোধ করার পরে আমার মাসিক আয় হয় তিনশো থেকে নয়শো টাকা এই টাকাগুলো আমি আমার আব্বা মা থেকে চাইতে হয় না আমার পড়াশোনার ব্যাপারে আমি প্রাইভেট পড়া তাও খাতা কলম কিনা আর আমার ব্যক্তিগত কাজে আমি এই টাকাগুলো ব্যবহার করি আমার নাম মোসামাদ রোজিনা পারভিন মিতু আমি নাটোর বনপাড়া ডাক অফিস থেকে বিউটি বিউটিশিয়ানের প্রশিক্ষণ পাই আমার এই প্রশিক্ষণটা ঢাকা সাবারটারকে হয় প্রশিক্ষণ দিয়ে আসার পরে আমি আমার কাজ চালু করি যে আমার আর্থিক অবস্থা সচ্ছল হয়েছে কিছুটা আর 
আমি এর এর মাঝে মানে লেখা পড়ার খরচটা চালাইতে পারি কমিউনিটি পার্টিসিপেশন আ নিউ কম্পোনেন্ট অফ এডিপি ডিফারেন্ট ফোরামস আর অর্গানাইজড আন্ডার দিস কম্পোনেন্ট টু অ্যাচিভ দ্য গোল অফ এডিপি হুইচ আর মাদার্স মিটিং parents meeting community leaders workshop etc brack staffs conduct these forums with the help of specified guides and materials besides brack staffs make personal contacts with them regularly each adolescent club has a supporting committee comprising of representatives from different levels of society their main task is to help adp to smoothly operate its activities as well as to create a friendly environment for adolescents at the end of 2007 adp started a cultural and sports competition at present only adolescent girls are taking part in the competition the levels of this competition are club level cluster level unable level district level divisional level and finally national level adp believes that this competition would be able to introduce new talents in cultural and sports arena of bangladesh another new addition to adp is adolescent club trust the objective of this trust is to establish a permanent club so that the program can continue even after brack stops its activities in a particular area adolescent interactive popular theater is developed to increase social awareness among adolescent girls and boys there is a plan to form a theater group for each upazila where adp is working each theater group there will consist of 20 adolescent girls and boys and they will receive training from brack every month Each theater group will perform a drama on different issues at different school grounds. The teachers of the schools will cooperate with them in this regard. Ami Muhammad Aminul Islam, Sahagari Pradhan Shikshak, Isabur Shahar Bangla Uchcha Vidyalay. Amar school e bibhinno samoy apon je boys ebong girls er je i gula hoy, class gula hoy, khub sundor bhabe porichalito hocche ebong amra er jonno shohajogita korte chhi. An efficient group of staff is developed for the smooth operation of ADP activities. There are 3 units at central level. One curriculum development unit develops different materials for different courses including the APON course. Capacity development unit is responsible for all kinds of ADP training for girls, boys and the staff. The third unit is field operation unit. who performs the overall responsibility at field level for implementation of ADP There are area coordinators at district level and program organizers at upazila level for field level implementation of ADP program 95% of ADP staff are women who perform their responsibilities with great skill and efficiency Monthly meetings are arranged at upazila, district and head offices where the progress of the program, problems at the field level, future work plan etc are discussed. In this way, the adolescent development program is moving forward through APUN or Adolescent Peer Organized Network and contributing towards improving the lives of adolescent girls and boys.